Hi, and welcome to my guide of the continuation of the fairy tale part 2, Cura Queen, part 2. After we have already unlocked the fairy rings during my previous guide, which did not require any total levels. To finally complete this quest, we do need 57 herblore, 49 farming, and 40 thieving. Farming and herblore are boostable. I just need it. A Draymond Staff or a Lunar Staff, a Vial of Water, Pestle and Mortar, and Nuff's Certificate. If you've lost Nuff's Certificate, then you can simply go north of the bank of Xanaris and search the southern shelves to find her certificate again. For the recommended items are some food, armor, weapon, and potions to kill a Comet 145, which protection prayers do not work against, though a safe spot for ranged and magic is available. Then also maybe one stamina potion and one teleportation method out of Xenaris after the quest is completed. Where to continue this quest is here in Xenaris. Let's start by studying. Right click on the certificate and study. Then close the interface and continue going south to the Cosmic Runecraft Altar, which is south of the Fairy Ring, south of the wheat field to Puro Puro. If you have 66 agility, then go through the agility shortcut. If you have less agility, then you can go through the eastern one. If you have no agility, then you'll need to run around. Go south to the Cosmic Runecraft Altar, turn your camera south, and between the two trees, you should find some odd markings, a rune temple sign. Click on it, then close the interface. And once we've done that, let's return back south. And once we've done that, let's return back north to the fairy ring. At the fairy ring, we will need to use the following codes. First one, equip our Draymond stuff, and then configure the fairy ring and use AIR. Once there, we will need to use the code DLR. Once there, we will need to use the code DJQ. DJQ. Next, we will need to go to AJS. And this should bring us to the Queen's hiding location. Let's go northeast. Continue going northeast and you'll find the sick queen and the nurse Nuff. Let's talk to the nurse. After speaking to her, we will need to return to Xanaris. So let's go back southeast and use a fairy ring to go back to Xanaris. And let's talk to the Godfather. Once back in Xanaris, go east and go to the Slayer Master. There is the Fairy Godfather who we will need to pickpocket. To do so, first talk to the two henchmen just a bit north of him to make them not face south, so they are definitely facing away from you. Then pickpocket the Godfather from behind. If you happen to fail this pickpocket, you'll end up near the Ham hideout. Simply run south, back into the Lumbridge Swamp and return to Xanaris to try again. Once you have this, let's return to the Fairy Queen. So let's go back E, so let's go back west and return to the Fairy Ring. To be able to return to the hideout, we will need to use the four fairy codes once again. The first one is AIR to Ardoin, then DLR to Zolra, then DJQ, which currently goes nowhere, 
And then after DJQ, it is AJS. Once back at the hideout, let's give the second test to Fair Enough. The Fairy Queen's life essence is still poisoned and we'll need to make an essence potion to be able to cure her. To do so, we will need to go and use the Fairy Ring a couple of more times. So, let's return southwest and go to the Fairy Ring. The first one, let's go to Fairy Ring Code CKP to go to the Cosmic Entities Plane. There, we'll need to find the Cosmic Being and talk to it. Once on the plane, go a bit south and try to look for a yellow NPC sign on your minimap. Talk to the cosmic being and select option 3 that you're looking for a star flower. And it will say that the flowers will grow and die a few minutes around this plane. So simply run around this plane and look for some yellow flowers that you can pick. The location of these flowers is random for everyone as they spawn in one location for a couple of minutes and then die and spawn at another. Try to look for the yellow flowers, pick it, and then make your way back up north to the fairy ring to go to the Gorax plane. To do so, let's use the fairy ring code DIR. Watch out, these Comet 145s will deal some damage, even if you're using Protect from well. Melee. If you want to use a safe spot, then you will need to go south. On well. both the southwestern and the southeastern well. rock, you should be able to safe spot the Gorax. Next, kill one Gorak for its claw. You can use offensive prayers if you want to to speed up the kill, but protection from melee will not work. Also, did you know that because of a bug, the Gorak's drop table is most of the time the rare gem table, so these monsters have the highest drop rate of a dragon square shield half. Once you defeated a Gorak, let's pick up the Gorak's claw and let's return to the Fairy Ring and let's go to Xanaris. Equip the Draymond stuff and go to Xanaris. At Xanaris, away from the danger, let's use our Pestle and Mortar on the Gorax Claw. Then use a Star Flower on a Vial of Water. And then use the Gorax Claw Powder on the Unfinished Potion to make some Magic Essence. Next, let's use the Fairy Ring and let's go to AIR. Next to DLR. Then once again to DJQ. And then finally to AJS. Let's use the Magic Essence Potion on the Fairy Queen. This will cure her life essence poisoning and wake her up. Let's talk to her to complete the Fairy Tale Part 2 quest to cure a queen. You are awarded with 2 quest points, 3500 herbal experience, 2500 thieving experience, access to fairy rings, and an XP lamp that will provide you with 2500 XP that you can put on any skill. Alright, let's drop the Magic Essence Potion of 2 doses and destroy no certificate. We no longer need that. And subscribe, rate and comment. Okay, thanks, bye.